Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I'm bringing up your favorite thing. Elon Musk. And the Neuralink. Oh my God, dude. I need a Cybertruck door to slam. You know, <laughs> speaking of Cybertrucks. <laughs> Are you going to talk about the uh, the Russian guy who had a Cybertruck and was driving it on the battlefield in Ukraine? <laughs> no, is that um, what happened? Yep, that, what's, that is what happened. Wow, that that's happened. wild. Uh, no, I I mean, we, we're, from, we're from Austin, right? I'm not from here. We're, well, we, we are from Austin now. I live in we, Austin. We live yeah. in Austin. Yes. And that's where, like, the factory is. I'm Cleveland till I die. I have seen so many Cybertrucks driving around this piece. Yeah, I have, too. When I was at the airport, when I came back from my uh, Cleveland trip, there was actually a Cybertruck taxi service that you could rent. And it was called like Cyber ATX, uh-huh. and you could get on their website. I did not mean to give them publicity. I'm sorry, but yeah, it was like you could get. Can I get some part of that money? But it's like you can you could rent a cyber truck to pick you up. That's kinda, dumb. kinda cool. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure it's at a premium, but you know, it gets if you want to ride one. So, anyways, second man has Neuralink now. It yeah. isn't TNT. To his dismay, I'm so disappointed. He is, and what is he using it for? He's a quadriplegic and he's using it to play Counter Strike. So respect. That was I, I thought that was the first guy. No, he was playing Civilization. Oh, that was the first guy. Uh, he used to play, said he used to play using a, a, a mouth operated controller called a quad stick, mm-hmm. but he could not move and shoot at the same time. So he said with a chip, he can remotely control a mouse on his laptop to aim and use the quad stick in his mouth to shoot. At the same time, I didn't know this, but it said the first person to receive a brain chip had uh, like part some of the electrodes like detached. Yeah, they detached. Yeah, but they said this guy and the second one, all of them have remained intact. So, At this point in time, the year of our Lord, uh, August twenty second. Yeah, today? August twenty twenty four. Twenty four. Uh, it said he also uses it to develop 3D designs, such as a holder for electric charger for his implant, that which was then 3D printed. So he's able to like basically create things to 3D print to help make his life easier too. Um, dude, it sounds pretty damn cool. Are you telling me you're ready to sign up? I'm not signing up. I would look, man. I'm telling you right now is like this is our future. I. I hate that I'm that guy. I do. I hate to say it like that because I feel like I'm that guy. But I'm going to be that guy. It is the future. When we came up with self, I've, I've said this so many times, man. You're already a cyborg. You, I'm holding my cell phone in my hand and I'm shaking it at Jonas right now, okay? You already are a cyborg. You can't go without touching your cell phone for a single day for a single hour for 30 minutes without having something to take your lizard brain off of it all right we are already there the only most natural step in progression for that is just to make it an already part of you make it part of your body and that's not even that far off. If I could tell you right now, Jonas, that I could take your cell phone and put it into your hand. You still have all the feeling in your hand. You still have all the use of your hand. But instead of ever having to have a cell phone, you just hold your palm flat out and you got the screen right there. Are you telling me you wouldn't be like, that sounds freaking amazing? Uh, I mean, accessibility to your cell phone. You want to talk on the phone? You hold it up to your ear. <laughs> look at, right? look at smiling at somebody now. This is like Metro Metro booming. No, nah, no, nah, uh, brother. You're... I'm telling you about the future. All right, I'm not using memes to try to look cool. I'm telling you about the you're future. You're telling me about what the future it's gonna to look be. cool. I'm telling you what it's gonna be. We're getting to that point. So if I can tell you that having a cell phone in your hand sounds like a cool idea, what's wrong with having it in your brain? What's wrong with having a computer in your brain? Everybody wants these Oculus Rifts and shit. Look, nobody wants to put these big ass goggles on your face. Those Apple goggles are failing like hard. Exactly. To the point where companies, because you have to, nobody wanted Bluetooth. Everybody used to look at a guy with the Bluetooth like he was a douchebag. You have one of those big ass jaw bones coming from the side of your ear to your mouth. <laughs> I remember back in the day, bro, being like, 
Why are you so important that you yeah. need to have a goddamn like? You look like a cuck. But now <laughs> that it's a little dot that you can put in your ear and it looks indiscreet, and now people can't tell if you're talking to yourself or not. But we still we've come to terms with it. Now that is almost the integration of having the phone right there in your ear. What is the difference? I'm ready. It's not removable. I, I think that's the difference. I want to be a first adopter. I don't want it to be removable because it's not removable now. I walk around with my Bluetooth in my ear 95% of the time. You have not touched your cell phone for 20 years. I don't know what the hell we're talking about right now. There's no difference. There's no difference. Yeah, but I want to be able to put it down. Like I do, you can't I do down. things to not use my cell phone now. Yeah, I know you force yourself to not yeah, use your so cell phone. Yeah, so it's a in, sad existence. If it was I built get in it. my goddamn head. I wouldn't have a choice. Uh, yeah, I'd be out would. there on the volleyball court and my yeah. phone be ringing. So like, where you at? Like, it's like saying that like tits run your life. I don't want to think about tits. <laughs> don't think about them. Just don't yeah, think about it. But if the Bluetooth's built into my brain and I'm I trying like to serve a ball and it's like ding, 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 yeah, ding. No, like what? Let's let's be reasonable here. Obviously, technology's not going to let it bing, bing, bing in your ear. You think the first thing they're going to do is put something that's going to make it annoying? Get out of here. Yeah, we're, we're talking about a seamless use of a product. Your phone doesn't go bing, bing, bing all the time. What does it do if you do that? You put it on silent. You think we ain't got a silent mode for freaking Neuralink? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, stop, chill. Come on, you know. You know the shit sounds I like. I gotta be devil's advocate. Yeah, bro. it ain't working because it's it wrong. Ain't working. You talking? You talking to the master here? Look, I'm telling the you, master, right now, the guy who just rambles bullshit. Uh, whatever, ramble bullshit. People love it. Look, I'm telling you right now <laughs> that this is the future. All right, I want to be a first adopter. And I can understand a person having some reservations about it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to adopt. You can say is that it's the mark of the beast or is that Whoa, it's, hey it's a downfall of humanity when we lose our, our ability to, you know, think for ourselves or whatever. I want a computer to think for me at all times. Oh, I've wow. been making bad decisions for 45 years. All right. I don't even know how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> I made so many bad decisions. I don't even know my age. That wasn't even the right age. <laughs> I know it's not. You're not even wrong. So I don't know, man. I, I just, it's like I feel. You know what it makes me feel like? What's like that? an old person. I mean, you kind of make yourself Be feel like because that. it's like because uh, it's very much like I remember being like younger go. and like telling my grandma, like Grandma, why don't you get an answering machine? I don't need one, was her answer. Grandma, why don't you get a computer? I don't need one. Jonas, why don't you get a Neuralink? I don't need one. I'm basically my grandmother. You are. You are. And you know, like, when... A little bit of insight about me. This is some real life shit right here, Jonas. So you might want to listen if you ever want to know anything about your boy. I've always felt is that when I was growing up that the older generation never understood. And I thought about that and I was like, why don't they understand? It is because they get too hung up on nostalgia. They get too hung up on the way that things were when they were younger and things were better in that time period. And, but yet the future always usurps the past. It yeah, the always, always takes, wins, man. Especially when it comes to technology, you either are an early adopter or you're a late adopter. There's no other, there's no in between. Okay. You're either an early adopter or you're a late adopter. So when it comes to me being older in my life and I see even like the, the, the slang that kids use, I want to be an early adopter because I understand is that the times where things were as they were are never coming back. All right. Not unless the nuclear war breaks out and we're forced into it. Right. All right. right. No, 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 no. But for sure. You're either an early adopter. You're late. You're always going to be begrudging. Everybody's always like, oh, no, I don't want I don't want cell phones on all the time. I don't like cell phones on all the time either, but I got one. You use it. I got one. Yeah. No, for real, man. And like, and you know, I, uh, and what's really funny about like, you know, I, 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 I think I push a little bit harder about how against everything I am than I really am because in like, when it comes to like business and things like that, I mean, I, I'll, I'm a hundred percent game changer mindset when it comes to business. I'm like, Oh, we've always done it that way. Let's change it. Like, but then when it comes to like normal life, I'm like, no, no computer built into my brain. I'm good. I want it. 
<laughs> want it. So, want anyways, it. man, what do you think about it, everybody? Put it in the comments. Uh, but that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. We out.